take care of yourself. We're here to help. Learn more at MassGeneral.org. Our iHeartRadio Music Festival from Wall. See for yourself. WBZ is news that matters most right now. It's the honor of my lifetime that so many millions of Americans have voted for that vision. And now, the work of making that vision is real. It's a task, the task of our time. Stay in the know with WBZ, Boston's News Radio. Celebrating 100 years of public service to this is WBZ. Good morning. What a great stretch of weather we've had in Boston, and it's about to come to an end, and the clouds are already starting to take over. Still warm, 65 degrees here in Boston this Wednesday, Veterans Day morning here in the city. Thanks for being with us. I'm Jeff Brown, and here's what's happening. A crash on the Mass Turnpike in Natick overnight stunned drivers who had to watch it all. I looked towards my left, and I really saw a mangled car. And some new information this morning. State police now say they deployed spike strips to stop that wrong way driver who crashed into an ambulance. WBC's Jim McKay in Natick, where it all happened. It was around 3 this morning when state police first spotted the wrong way driver who wound up crashing into an ambulance near exit 13. That driver now in critical condition being treated at Mass General. The driver also injuring two EMS workers and a patient being treated inside the ambulance. I spoke with a truck driver who came by the scene right after it happened. And it looked pretty bad, you know, and I, I wonder what, what had happened when I, you know, when I went up. Luckily, he was opposite the crash scene. But not myself. You know, I was on the westbound side, and it was pretty clear. All eastbound lanes were shut down for some three hours. Still unclear from state police why this driver was headed the wrong way. Reporting from the native rest stop on the west part of WBS Boston News Radio. Transition team from government and the nation's capital are supportive of the president. Votes election officials around. The gentleman from share from residents. Yes, that is a new time. This time for countless fans, he is probably best known for his work as Celtics chief cheerleader during telecast. That was absolutely ridiculous. This guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, sick. Oh. The shots of Tommy. Great effort and outstanding play by the Celtics. Tributes continue to pour in for the legends. Tommy Heinsohn dead. At the end, it's 833 highway traffic gathered together. Ten minutes. See us retail. Jeffrey, despite the state, for the most part, we're being lighter than usual volume, but we do have issues out there. Southbound Expressway can from that to Heaven Hill. Your crash we had took up a couple of left there at Heaven Hill. Northbound side, heavy on the Ponset Circle to Columbia Road. Still dealing with several crashes on 128. First off, 128 northbound. Still dealing with a crash at 38 in Woburn. Three crashes in the exact same area. 128 southbound by Burlington to watch out for. Now downtown, we're not bad. Airport tunnels are doing okay. Tobin is looking good. Lever connector, in fact, is actually uh, not completely eased out, but it's gotten better. Spaced itself out, so I'm getting on to Star Drive. Lori Grandy, WBZ's traffic on the three. It is a decent start to the day here in Boston, but early morning sunshine is starting to give way to some clouds, which are going to be on the increase throughout the rest of the day and will eventually bring us some rain, especially overnight tonight. Meantime, the high temperatures are going to threaten
sudden a record once again in Boston. This has been very unusual, and it continues that pattern today. We're at 65 degrees right now. It looks like at this point it's a sure bet to top the previous record of 69, as many areas, cities and towns, will get into the lower 70s today. But again, those clouds are going to be hanging around, and it will be a bit breezy as well. It'll be decent early this evening, and then the raindrops will the raindrops will start to fall overnight tonight. And cloudy and somewhat rainy throughout the day tomorrow. That extends into Friday morning as well as temperatures drop from the 60s into the 50s, which is where they're going to stay through the upcoming weekend. Right now, 65 and increasing clouds here in Boston at 835. Veterans Day 2020 is here, and it's certainly different in a pandemic. Despite that, many ceremonies continue today, but WBC's Drew Mulholland tells us many problems continue for veterans at the same time. The number one thing that this veteran would like to see happen right now, I think, is adequate medical care. We have the money. It's just a matter of prioritizing it to the people that need it most. That's Air Force veteran William Shuttleworth of Newburyport. He's been raising money for veterans for years, and he even walked across the country earlier this year to help in that effort. Isn't it sad, Drew, that 25% uh, of all homeless uh, people in America are veterans? Staggering number, actually. It is. Yeah. You know, the number of men and women that have opioid and uh, alcohol is there's a direct result of untreated PTSD and other combat issues that never were adequately addressed. And William consistently thinks about the friends lost serving this country over the years. They've made a lot to me. I hold it very dear in my heart. And Kevin. Boston's News Radio. Many of these ceremonies and celebrations today virtually around the nation, and if not, at least respecting social distance mandates. Little history here, though. Veterans Day was first recognized as Armistice Day to mark the end of World War I when peace came to the planet at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. Renamed Veterans Day back in 1954. It is a federal holiday, though. Wall Street is open, and business is apparently ready to boom again today. Dow futures are up 200 points ahead of the opening bell. Veterans Day is also when holiday shopping season begins to kick into high gear. The pandemic will have something to say about how and when we shop this year. But WBC's Laurie Kirby tells us savvy shoppers are finding some great deals right now. COVID has been a battle for retailers. They're hoping to gain key ground on this Veterans Day, a big sales day. Well, a ton is changing. This Black Friday is really not going to be like any other we've ever seen because of COVID-19. Edgar Dworsky is founder of Consumer World. He said expect socially distanced lines this year. A far cry from the Black Friday chaos we've seen to get the only high-def TV left at bargain rates. Many sales are going to move online first, and then the in-store sales are going to move in order to limit price. What's up with that? It's 838. We check in with Bloomberg Business now for details. Here's Tom Busby. Well, Jeff, one bank thinks we should. Strategists at Deutsche Bank say earning a living remotely for the comfort and safety of your own home is a privilege employees should pay for. They're proposing remote workers pay a special 5% tax, which would raise $48 billion a year for Uncle Sam. On Wall Street, look at more gains in stocks today. Dow futures now up 205 points. A lot of optimism over Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccines and more to come. And ByteDance, the Chinese owner of the video sharing app TikTok, asking a federal appeals court to prevent the Trump administration from forcing the firm to sell the service or face a ban here in the U.S. I'm Tom Busby, Bloomberg Business on WBZ, Boston's News Radio. With the Vatican in the spotlight again, the Pope is speaking out. We get details next. It's 838. Not commuting to work anymore? Tell your smart speaker to play WBZ News Radio on iHeartRadio and get news. Check in with us on WBZ right in your kitchen. Sometimes in business, the unexpected comes calling. From rent increases to increased orders to... I'm going to say it. Unprecedented times. But don't bounce back. Bounce forward with Comcast Business. Bounce forward fast with internet speeds up to a gig. With the flexibility to update with just a few clicks. And with solutions, help keep 
your connected devices protected. Be fast, be flexible, be ready for what's next, and bounce forward with Comcast Business. Get a powerful and reliable internet solution from Comcast Business starting at $69.99 a month for 24 months with a three-year agreement. Plus, get free installation when you order online. And for a limited time, ask an upgrade to get a $500 prepaid card. Call 1-800-501-6000 or go to ComcastBusiness.com today to find out more. Prepaid card offer in 12-13-20. Restrictions apply. Limited to new Comcast Business Internet and One Voice Mobility customers. Early termination fee applies. Equipment installation taxes can be extra, subject to change. Listening to this Allstate commercial about savings might be the hardest thing about getting those savings. Save being an Allstate customer. Save more for adding DriveWise. And save even more for driving safely. Visit Allstate.com or contact your local agent for a quote today. Allstate. Minimum effort, maximum reward. Not available in every state. New customer savings based on other signing discount. Drive license is an optional feature. Savings vary based on how you buy. Subject to terms and conditions. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates. Northbrook, Illinois. At home with brother, and family. Carolers, that's the holiday spirit. Speaking of which, Simply Safe Home Security is having a huge holiday sale. Right now, you can get 30% off a new system and a free camera at simplysafe.com/holiday. That's 30% off the system U.S. News named the best of 2020. Simply Safe protects your whole home 24/7 with monitoring by professionals. The sale ends soon, so go to simplysafe.com/holiday for 30% off and a free camera today. If you suffer from heartburn, you know that burning feeling you get that rises in your chest. But did you know there's a natural alternative that's drug-free and have helped millions of people across the country. They're drug-free and chemical-free, made with ingredients you'll recognize and can pronounce. But the best part is my acid and indigestion relief actually works. We get so many testimonials from customers who love it and say it's been life-changing for them. So if you experience heartburn after you eat some of your favorite foods, don't suffer anymore. Try Maddie's Acid and Indigestion Relief. I guarantee you'll love this product or we'll refund your money back, no questions asked. You can find Maddie's Acid and Indigestion Relief at Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens in the digestive aisle. It's also available on Amazon. Learn more about our products at maddies.com. That's M-A-T-Y-S dot com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Sports Now on WBZ News Radio. Tommy Heinsohn played a part in all 17 Celtics championships, whether as a player, coach, or broadcaster. And oh boy, two generations of fans know Heinsohn for his passion on the mic. <laughs> Heinsohn's a two-time Basketball Hall of Fame inductee, and in time, should get in for broadcasting as well. But his partner of 40 years, Mike Gorman, told NBC Sports Boston. Tommy, he's one of a kind. He's the only NBA color guy I know who brings his watercolors on the road with him and goes out and uh, sits in parks and paints when he used to be on road trips. Um, a voracious reader, who was a fanatical reader about World War II, and especially Winston Churchill, read every book you ever think of uh, Winston Churchill. There, just, there were so many sides to Tommy, besides the guy who thought that the Celtics were getting hosed every night they played by the officials. Adam Kaufman, WBC, Boston. News Radio. All right, Adam, thank you. 843. Time to check the roadways once again with Laurie Grandy and a look at the Subaru retailers of New England. All-wheel drive traffic on the threes. And for a holiday, been pretty busy, Laurie. Hey, you know, it has been since early this morning, but Jeff, I got to tell you, things are looking up for us. So it's spacing out now northbound on the expressway. It's slow and it's heavy, but it is not stop and go like it was before. It's still heavy, though, Savin Hill to Columbia Road. The southbound side, we had an earlier crash there. That continues to be heavy as well, Columbia Road to Savin Hill. Now, downtown, overall, a pretty good ride. The Tobin is moving well. Lower deck, no problems with the traffic coming across the Zakem Bridge into the O'Neill Tunnel. Lever connector, heavy volume there coming off of 90. Free. Not jammed, though it's just lots of volume, but you and your friends getting on to Storo Drive. Earlier crashes we had on 128 North and South on in the Burlington area, they have now been cleared. Lori Grandy, WBZ's traffic on the three. Well, the sunshine is uh, dipping behind the clouds now in Boston, and it looks like these gray skies are going to be hanging around for a while. Record high temperatures expected once again today, and we're getting close at 66 degrees. Live, local, and independent. This is WBZ News Radio. Clouds but mild.
mild and breezy. Again on tap for today, those clouds are going to drop some rain on us beginning overnight tonight and extending through the early hours of Friday. And then it starts to feel like November with highs only in the 50s for the rest of this upcoming week. Well, good Wednesday morning, Veterans Day, November 11th. I'm Jeff Brown, and here are the five things you need to know at 844. Coronavirus cases in Massachusetts have tripled since Labor Day. Governor Baker says health officials are getting field hospitals ready once again. A COVID outbreak at MCI Norfolk State and federal officials are now calling on the governor to begin commuting prison sentences. Dr. Anthony Fauci expects a virus vaccine to be available for most Americans by next spring. Adolf is back. It has regained strength and hurricane status in the Gulf of Mexico. The storm is threatening the Florida panhandle next. Pope Francis with his first public comments after the release of a damning report on the Vatican's mishandling of the sexual misconduct case of Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. Francis again vows to put an end to sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. More from CBS News correspondent Sabina Castle-Franco. Pope Francis pledged again to rid the church of sexual abuse one day after the Vatican released its report on the years of cover-up by high-ranking members of the Catholic Church of the illegal and wrongful behavior by former Washington Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. The Pope said the Church is committed to eradicate this evil and then pause silently in prayer. McCarrick, now 90 and defrocked, lives in isolation at an undisclosed location. And WBZ's Karen Regal this morning tells us the case against McCarrick comes with Boston ties. In 2015, Cardinal Sean O'Malley was sent a letter from a victim detailing the abuse suffered at the hands of former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. O'Malley says he never saw the letter and has since apologized. O'Malley heads the Pontifical Commission for the Protection of Children and has said in the past what happened with McCarrick must never happen again. Karen Regal, WBZ, Boston's News Radio. Cardinal O'Malley also says the Catholic the church has much more work to do. Mitchell Garabedian is an attorney who represented victims in the Boston area during the Catholic Priest sex abuse scandal. He says the back. We can't speculate on anything. We, we need the facts before we come to any conclusion. She says Secretary Galvin's office is investigating. Matt Shearer, WBZ, Boston's News Radio. New guidelines from the CDC suggest wearing face masks is not only good for stopping the spread of the virus, it's also good for your health, and it's also good for the American econ economy's health as well. Iowa joins Utah in becoming the latest states with face mask mandates. President-elect Joe Biden says he will support a nationwide face mask mandate as well when he takes office on January 20th. It is 848. Thanks to a combination of the pandemic, technology, and, well, 2020 in general, it's the end of the line for a tradition for school kids in North Attleboro. No more snow days. WBC's Kim Tunnicliffe is getting reaction from the kids who, as you can understand, are not happy with this decision. As you might expect, most of the middle schoolers I spoke with here in downtown North Attleboro downright detest the idea of no more snow days. 11-year-old Peyton Kelly says kids deserve a break from remote learning. What do you think of them taking away your snow days? No. <laughs> no. How come? That's like one of the things that like we can look forward to, I guess. Because then we could just get to like play in the snow. This 10-year-old can think of other things he'd rather be doing on snow days. Honestly, on it. I'm with him. Kim Donnacliffe, WBZ, Boston's News Radio. 849 clouds and 66 degrees here in Boston. Uh, probate co courts in Massachusetts are using technology to try to meet the challenges of coronavirus. WBZ's Carl Stevens tells us because of the virus, there's a backlog of cases. And that means delays. And those delays... 
The other day I was outside Lynn District Court kind of fishing for stories when I ran into this attorney. If I could get your name. Charles C. the kids. Which parent uh, is paying child support? Are these kids getting the support? And if the court's not having these hearings, they're not getting dealt with. He told me he's seen child support hearings delayed for half a year, forcing mom, who's trying to make ends meet, get a second job. You sit there and try and advocate for your client, and nothing done for six months when it should be done in a month. Former Boston police officers are owed years of back pay, plus 12% interest after being fired and wrongly accused of using drugs, cocaine specifically, while on the force. It's 8.50. Take a look at what's happening in Hollywood. Reba McIntyre and Darius Rucker. By the way, Justin Bieber will duet with uh, Dan and Shay. Last night, another episode of The Bachelorette on ABC. Keep in mind, ABC will ring in the new year with a new season of The Bachelor. I'm Billy Costa, The Maddie Show on KISS 108. Campaign 2020 continues. President Trump is not accepting defeat, reportedly preparing to take... On the road. Information you trust from the number one radio station in Boston. I'm Carl Stevens. I'm Sherry Small. I'm Alex Stone. I'm Kim Thomas. I'm Cameron Reed. I'm Mark Remillard. Outside WBZ, Boston's news radio. We made USAA insurance for members like Martin, a veteran made of conviction. He believes if you're going to do something, you should do it right. Like measuring twice and cutting once. So when a hailstorm hit his house and his car, USAA reached out to him before he could even inspect the damage. Martin said, that's how you do it right. His roof and car were fixed up before his neighbor could even get started. USAA Insurance has made the way members like Martin and his family need it. With hassle-free claim service to help get you back to normal fast. Save more when you bundle home and auto. Get a quote today at USAA.com slash insurance. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Ability to receive a quote depends on membership eligibility. Product membership eligibility and bundling savings restrictions apply and are subject to change. United Services Automobile Association and its affiliates. San Antonio, Texas. Today, your employees are remote working, hybrid working. But no matter how they're working, Always Health Partners is ready. Providing your employees with the health care they want, like an expansive network of doctors and virtual urgent care with Mass General Brigham providers. All while... See how we can help you be ready for today, tomorrow, always. Visit alwayshealthpartners.org or call your broker, member of Mass General Brigham. Hi, Kimberly Dare from Commonwealth Motors. Simply, safely, and quickly. That's how easy it is to buy a new or pre-owned vehicle from Commonwealth Motors. Find us fast at shopwithlabs.com. For safe time and stay safe, see us first. It's 853. Check on those roadways right now. Commonwealth Motors this time sponsors the Subaru retailers of New England. All-wheel drive traffic on the threes. Laurie, what's going on? Well, we have some problems really west of town. Just in case you're heading this way on the pike westbound, there is a crash. It's right at Route 84 in Sturbridge there. It happened in the backup caused by a gravel spill. And uh, they've been cleaning the gravel spill. And that, Anyway, the crash happened after that. So just watch out for that. Getting reports of another crash eastbound on the Mass Pike at 495 in Hopkinton. Now, the lever connector down ramp, that's beefed up again. It is a stop and go getting on to Storrow Drive coming off of 93. North 9 Expressway looking better. Still heavy, though. Savin Hill to Columbia Road. South on side, you're going to find that heavy as well. Columbia Road to Savin Hill. No major problems for us now if you're traveling on the Tobin. Looking good in the airport. traffic on the three. Right, let's check in on the four-day WBZ AccuWeather forecast. We'll get a peek at the weekends as part of it with meteorologist Matt Benz. Yeah, the weekend looking, well, not too bad at this point for November, but it's going to be a whole lot colder than what we've been experiencing as of late. Today, the clouds continue to thicken up here across the area. Still some patches of blue out on the Cape and Islands. Otherwise, it will be cloudy for today. Mild, though, and breezy, high near 70 degrees. Current record high in Boston today, 69, set back in 2002. Tonight, rain arrives. It will be cloudy and mild, low 61. Tomorrow, periods of rain continue through the day. Cloudy, high temperatures from 60 to 65 degrees. 
areas. That will be tomorrow morning. Then temperatures likely fall into the 50s by the afternoon. Then cooler stretch of weather Friday and into the weekend. Friday, uh, shower around with a high of 53 degrees and drying up for the first half of the weekend. Saturday, high 52. More than likely cool into Sunday. Temperatures will be in those mid 50s. I'm Accuate with Meteorologist Matt Benz, WBZ Boston's News Radio. And it appears the gray skies have taken over in Boston. It is 66 degrees. Well, good morning. It's 8.55 on the Ring Central Newsline this Wednesday. A popular Christmas movie comes to life on the cave. Some lights may be a wreath. A sleigh will do quite fine. Just an expression your home or business for what Cape Cod Boys and Girls Club President Jim Kiley calls the Damascus Polar Express Motor Kit. A caravan of vehicles like the train on its tracks adorned of the season along a road course past houses and storefronts decked with holiday trim. You know, we're going through a lot this year and we're just trying to do something nice for the kids and for the town and since we can't have the parade, we really like them to take the time, show their holiday spirit, show their Damascus spirit. They can have looked very festive for the holidays. The most decorated of home, business, and vehicle will all earn a prize. Chris Fama, WBZ, Boston's News Radio. Well, it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> now we knew it was going to come to an end. Early morning sunshine has now given way to clouds here in Boston. But a record high is in jeopardy for the city. We could get to 70 degrees today. Coming up on WBZ News Radio this morning. Ready for Surge, we take a page from the coronavirus playbook here in Massachusetts. Days after a winner is declared, the White House still refuses to accept President-elect Joe Biden's transition team. Didn't get your stimulus check? What? Might still be yours for the taking. We'll tell you how. Details coming up. It's 857. Get off my cloud. Post Road Carpet in Karistan. You made the right decision. Post Road Carpet. Route 2A and active. More than just great Karistan carpet. Carpeting, it's a great design center. Post Road Carpet is COVID compliant. If you have old or unwanted guns in your home, New England Ballistic Services will buy them from you. Call them at 855-GUN-BUYS. That's 855-GUN, B-U-Y-S. Hi, Kimberly Day from Commonwealth Motors. Simply, safely, and quickly. And you'll get a great deal, too. Find us fast at shopuslast.com. Stay safe. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. It's time for Medicare open enrollment. At Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts, our $0 HMO and PPO plans come with new benefits, like $0 co-pays on select generic drugs, $0 co-pays on routine dental visits, and new eyewear and hearing aid benefits. Our plans also come with new telehealth coverage and up to a $400 fitness and weight loss benefit. With one of the largest selections of Medicare plans in the state, we've got a plan for you. Visit BlueCrossMA.com slash Medicare Guide or call 888- 800-8144. Hi folks, it's Joe Giacalone here, owner of Arch Painting, and it's great to be back on the air. Many things have changed in the past few months, and Arch Painting has adapted the way we do business to meet these new challenges. We practice social distancing with minimal or even no contact with customers, and we follow all local and state guidelines. We'll even work after hours and on weekends to meet your needs. And while many things have changed, one thing remains the same. You can count on the pros at Arch Painting to get the job done right, on time, and always at a fair price. That's why New England has trusted Arch Painting for over 20 years. For a free estimate, call us today at 1-844-ARCH-PAINTING or visit us online at archpainting.com. Arch Painting, your vision brought to life. has the stories. The mission of our storytelling is to bring you balance, not bias. News Nation is your news. Every hour in prime time, every night at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Check your cable or satellite listings. WBZ Boston.